out taking more IG photos. Ooh, this lighting is good right here. Cute, cute, cute. This is kind of cute. It's kind of grungy, like just with the top right here. I might crop this out of the footage for the photo. Huh? What do you, you need it for your feet? Spray my sanitizer on it. Monday you guys welcome back to another weekly vlog it's 1 30 I have an hour until I have a zoom call so I'm sitting here taking my hair down y'all y'all know I've been talking about taking this hair down for weeks <laughs> so since I'm not gonna be on camera I'm just gonna be you know talking with them I've already met the team um, this is just another call with them um, and we're just gonna be going over um, a few things so I'm going to sit here and take out these braids before they call. I know I'm going to still be taking them out by the time they call because this takes a minute. This takes a minute. It's going to take me a few hours. The way I am, I know this is going to take me a few hours. But yes, girl, how are y'all doing? What did you guys do over the weekend, over the week? Let me know down below in the comments. Y'all know the drill, but yeah i'm about to take these down i don't know what i'm gonna do with my hair um when i take this i have a few wigs i can just use and then i also have a couple of headband wigs which i'm pretty i'm pretty sure i'm gonna go back to doing i'm um, just you know throwing them on but i don't know i don't know i might switch it up and do i don't know i'll have to go in my hair stash and see what i got and see what I got. See, y'all can see how long this is gonna take me. Like, it took me forever just to get this plait unraveled. <laughs> but yes, girl, not much planned today. I'm just gonna be doing my Zoom call with a brand and then I am, what else do I wanna do today besides my hair? This is gonna take me all day. So I'm not trying to do any, like, obviously I'm not filming anything today. Um, I can edit. That's what I can do. Yeah. I can edit and I'm going to kind of brainstorm, like, some more videos to film. These new products, these two products, I kept seeing these, but I was like, eh, Eben, like, I don't not like Eben, but they really be hit or miss. It's like, I don't know. But she said they were good, so... I'm gonna try these today for my wake and style and let y'all know. And then I got, I had got a bunch of lashes and stuff for work. Um, I know that felt good. Anyways, so oh, I keep getting sidetracked. So I go to the bank, right? <laughs> she sound like me. Keep getting sidetracked. And first of all. I don't, you guys know, I don't get direct deposit. I work for myself, so there's no direct. So today I rocked my natural curls. Oh, I did my nails too. I did my nails. I just did gel nails this time, so. All right, good night, y'all. I don't know where I stopped off, but it's day two of me rocking these little curly fries. And they're holding up pretty good. I definitely don't have the products. I feel like I don't have the products um, to keep this up because I just used, um, well, when I washed my hair, I didn't dry it I just did this um, and I put in some of the uh, eco styler gel eco styling gel in it um, well I oiled my scalp first because I didn't want it to be too dry and I used the um, bread hair oil but I feel like I can definitely use other products because I honestly don't like how crunchy the curls feel they feel very crunchy i want something that's gonna make it really soft you know oh my battery about to die <laughs> no 
but let me edit this video y'all i need to cook too and i have some wine i need to open up i'm still a part of the wink subscription so i need to open that up it's still sitting in there unopened so i'm girl i'm gonna drink some wine tonight that's what i'm gonna do It is Thursday, you guys. We are still thriving with the puff. The puff is still thriving. <sighs> Day three of the little puff puff. And I'm actually really, really happy about it. So um, I'm actually kind of impressed because I didn't think I could keep this up, to be completely honest. Um, but anyway right now i'm doing a quick little clip that i need to edit into uh, <laughs> i need to edit this in to the video that i'm posting tomorrow so this is going to be super duper quick um it's me applying makeup but i'm just going to be cutting certain parts out so i can put it into the into tomorrow's video if that makes sense y'all gonna already see it by the time the vlog goes up and you'll kind of understand what i'm trying to say but anyway i just want to pop in and say hello happy thursday i don't have much planned today except for editing and i'm gonna try to film another video since my face is already gonna you know it's already gonna be done with makeup um i have some packages that i just got at the door that i need to open up i might do i might do a collective haul because I've purchased quite a few things, you guys. So I might do a collective haul. I don't know. But yeah, that's what I'm up to right now. So let me get this done so I can get everything else done. These are so good. So good. give you guys an update on last night's dinner I'll stick to my juicy crab I didn't like the sausage the shrimp was okay it should have been I was thinking the shrimp was gonna be bigger those are like those popcorn shrimps Robert liked it but I didn't really like it um, I think next time if we do get that recipe I'll put in the sausage that we usually eat and I'll also substitute their shrimp for some other type of shrimp. The corn was good, the uh, potatoes were good. Um, they had scallops in there, which was really good. It gave it that extra little oomph to it. The, um, the juice was pretty good too, but... Mm. But yes, girl, I just want to come on and update you guys on last night's food. <laughs> but all in all, we love HelloFresh. HelloFresh is bomb if you feel like you don't have the time to grocery shop all the time or if you don't want to grocery shop all the time 
HelloFresh gets delivered right to your door. This is not sponsored, but girl, HelloFresh. Girl, where y'all at? <laughs> Sponsor your girl. I've been using HelloFresh since the pandemic started. So it's been well over a year, y'all. But anywho, let me go in here and fix something to eat. And I need to bathe my dogs and all of that jazz. But yes, girl, I just want to come on really quick. Yeah, these are getting dried out. So I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. <laughs> in the bathroom I was about to put these up in the shelf but I want to show y'all what I grabbed well repurchased these body exfoliator towels I picked up two this time because I love 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 these I bathe with these and they just make my skin super duper duper smooth and I want to try out a new body butter so I got this one from Kiehl's it's the soy milk and honey whipped body butter so we're gonna give this a try and it smells really good too um i don't think i told y'all about these i emptied one so i grabbed two more and these are like six dollars on sephora i got blue lagoon well it's called lagoon and this is the um bubble bath and shower gel the first one i got was the cherry blossom which smelled amazing and I want to try this one out too. This is the cotton flower bubble bath and shower cream. So yeah, and look how they're shaped. Really different. Like I said, they're only like $6. And I also got this. So I've been using the fur oil and I saw that they had a body wash. So I want to give it a try. So yeah, we're going to give this a try. It looks really, really watery. So I'll give that a try and one of you guys actually re uh, recommended this to me it's the Kosas sport body wash so I'm excited to give this a try so we're gonna go ahead and put this down here organize my little skincare body not skincare body care hygiene shelf situation so up here I keep my body washes this Curology body wash is actually really, really good. I just started using it uh, last month. So I've been using this one and I've been using the um, Olay body wash with retinol. So this is brand new though. I get this every three months. So I haven't opened this one up yet, but I'm currently working on one right now. Um, so while we're here, I guess I'll show you guys my whole entire collection of my body care and hygiene products. I think I told y'all that I wanted to do this anyway. So since we're here, we'll do it. So back here, I keep my Kapari shower. This is the body wash. I have Soul Body body wash. 
I have, this is actually pretty new. I haven't tried this one out yet, but it's the Skin to Mint Bloom Body Wash. I have this one from Target. It's the Coconut and Warm Vanilla Blood Body Wash. This is my second thing of this because it is bomb. I just haven't opened it up yet. It's the Raw Sugar Simply Body Wash. I wanted to get a huge container of this because it was so good. Y'all, I am stocked up with body wash. I have like all that I need, but y'all know I like to try different things out. So here we are. And then another thing of my favorite Olay body wash. This is just the um, Ultra Moisture Shea Butter one. Now we're going to go ahead and, oh, let me put this Curology right here. Let's go ahead and add these to the collection. Let's put Kosas right here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Kosas and then the Sephora. Let's put these back here. Mm -hmm. And then the fur. We'll put the fur right here because I'm actually going to open this one up probably tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do that tomorrow. Um, Olay Body Conditioner. I have two of those left. I have this Capari body. I think this is like a shower gel. Yeah, shower gel. And then I keep extra um, hand soaps right here and then my deodorant. I just like to keep this right here in the front because I reach for it pretty much every day. Down here we have my body scrubs and exfoliators. So we have the Dr. Teals back there. We have my raw sugar body scrub back there. Soul Body Body Scrub, Beloved Coconut and Warm Vanilla Body Scrub, Elemis Body Scrub, um, Tree Hut, La Vanilla, Way. Let me put this back. We have this. I'm going to put this down here because I keep my feminine products down here. And I also have another feminine drawer here in the bathroom, but I just keep some of those down there. Capari, Body Scrub, Ole, Scrub Necessaire, Fenty. Ooh, haven't even tried this yet. We're going to try this one tonight. So I'm going to put this in the front. Put my Necessaire. Yeah, we are going to try Fenty out tonight. So I'm going to keep it right here in the front so I can see it as soon as I open the cabinet. And then back here, I just have the Capari. Um, little exfoliator sponge and this is what is this exfoliating mint from soul body i haven't even opened that yet but we'll keep it right there for now but yes we're gonna use a fenty tonight cannot wait and then down here we have oh let me sit on the floor okay okay so I have my body oils down here. I have an oil for my bikini area, um, extra feminine wash. Okay, so start over here. We have, let's go from the back. My Sephora body, Sephora body cream. My extra Fenty body butter. My second one, uh, this is actually the refill. So I'll put this in a little container that I already have. And then this is the Sol Generio Bum Dia Bright Cream. I am almost out of this one. I ran out of the small one. I got this larger one and I'm already almost out of this. Love, love, love this Aveeno um, Creamy Moisturizing Gel. I've used this twice. It's okay. I don't really like the scent though, but skin glows from this stuff. It's nice. I just wish it was either unscented or it smelled better than it does, but it's really, really, really nice on my skin. And then this is another product that I'm almost out of. It's the um, Josie Marin Pro Retinol Body Butter. I have my Chanel Body Butter right there. That's the Chanel Chance, which is so so nice i try not to use too much of this because it's pretty expensive and i don't want to run out of it um too quickly and then my oc body oil love this stuff y'all 
Mm. This is a good body oil. And I have a herbivore body oil, which I want to try. Haven't opened her up yet, but with that being said, let's put her in the front so we can open her up. Necessary body oil. I've used this twice already and so far so good. Love, love, love. So these are the two that I've been using. Well, I've been using OC the most as far as like body oils, but those are nice. And then I'm going to try this one out. So we're going to put that right there in the front. Um, ooh, this, I am obsessed with this body balm. It's from Bath and Body Works. It's the Aromatherapy Tea Tree Body Balm. So good. I had that one in my favorites video recently. Um, and then my fur oil, which I use pretty much daily. I just take like a couple of drops and um, rub it on my bikini area. And then these are the exfoliating pads that I use under my arms. The sweet spot buff and brighten exfoliating pads so rich so good let's do this keep it up like that then i have my extra feminine wash which has become my favorite is by good wash you can pick this up from target and then i have the sweet spot feminine wash which i am going to use this one after i'm done with the um, the, this one right here. I have one of these in my shower right now. So I'm not going to open this new one up. I'm going to actually use this before I open up that new one since I'm still working on this one. Well, another one, which is this, that's in my shower right now. But I will give that a try. And then I just have this random spray that I keep in here from the mix bar. It's the vanilla bourbon. I have the perfume, which I am obsessed with. So I wanted to get the body spray. It's actually, this is the hair mist, the body mist. Yeah, the hair and body mist. So I just keep it in here. So whenever I get out of shower, if I want to smell like that, I just spray it on the body. But this is my hygiene collection, you guys. I have a few more products that are still in my beauty closet that I haven't put in here. But for the most part, this is what I keep in my um, hygiene collection and let me grab this up here body cream will go down here mm -hmm. oops Yep. So that is it. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this little hygiene collection portion in today's vlog. Was it therapeutic? Do you guys have any of these? Have you tried it? What are your thoughts? <laughs> Do you like it? Do you love it? Oh, let me put these down here too. So I'm gonna throw out the one that's in my shower right now because it's time to switch it out. And I'm just gonna open up probably the white one. So we'll use this one tonight. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and just squeeze it in here. So that way, when I open up my cabinet, I can go ahead and grab my Fenty scrub tonight and then open up this one for tonight. Wait, actually, do I wanna use this with the scrub? I don't think I want to do that because I feel like that'll be too much exfoliation going on on my body. So I am just going to use this tonight and use like a regular washcloth to bathe with. So that way it won't be too harsh on my skin because these, these alone, I don't even have to go in with any other type of body scrub because these are good by itself. But Anyway, yes, girl, that is my little collection. All right, let's get out of here. Y'all, I'm getting old. Can't even get up off the floor. Actually, while I'm here, let me take a quick little 
screen record because I'm gonna cut this for um, the thumbnail. Let me turn you guys this way. So this will probably be in the thumbnail. All right, girl, we are in the beauty closet. I wanna touch base on the Fenty perfume. I know I did a unboxing on my last vlog and I wasn't talking during the unboxing. It was just kind of like an ASMR, but I did leave a little overlay talking about it, saying that it's not my favorite. I would describe this scent. Let's see, how would I describe it? It's very, 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 very warm. It's a little spicy. Um, I see a lot of people are saying that it's really spicy, really warm. It's not sweet. And it's definitely that. It's spicy, warm. This is something that I would personally prefer to mix in with something else. Um, something that's a little bit more sweet, a little bit warmer than this. Definitely a nighttime scent for sure. Um, yeah, but it's definitely not my favorite. This is nowhere near Love Don't Be Shy. I've seen some people saying that this smells like Love Don't Be Shy Girl. Where? This smells nothing like Love Don't Be Shy. I have Love Don't Be Shy right here. I have a sample. Well, not a sample. I have the, like the travel size in here. And then I have another one right there a little extra one but it smells nothing 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 like love don't be shy love don't be shy is sweeter way sweeter than this way 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 sweeter than the Fenty perfume but just want to kind of touch base on this since I didn't really give you guys a thorough review when I did the unboxing but yeah I will wear this but mix it in with something I haven't mixed it yet but I have a feeling this will be good with my Skylar Vanilla. Yeah, I think this will mix really good with Skylar. Um, what else? Something just sweet, super duper sweet and warm. I don't know. I wanna do an updated perfume collection, updated perfume favorites and all of that. So you guys will probably see that in the future. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of touch base on this, give you guys my full review on the Fenty perfume. Let me know if you have it. What are your thoughts on it? Do you like it? Um, yeah, so let me know. But yeah, girl, I'm tired. I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. I might do a little um, wash routine and insert it in next week's vlog. Might do that. Anyway, girl, thank y'all so much for hanging out with me this week. If you enjoyed this week's vlog, give me a huge thumbs up. And I will see you guys later on this week. Bye.